Hi, Guy Cochran here today. We're going to be taking a look at a new drive from Lassie. Now, the thing that makes this one interesting and very unique versus some of the competition out there is that this one doesn't just do RAID 0. So it is a two-drive enclosure, but what it does is it's able to do something a little different. This is called RAID 0 plus 1. So in the back here, you're going to see something that says safe, mixed, big, and fast. So we've got it in mix mode, which is the RAID 0 plus 1 right now. And I'm going to fire this thing up into our Mac, and you guys are going to be able to see what it looks like when we run some high-speed tests. So on our desktop here, we have something here called the AJA system test. And some of you may be very familiar with this. And you know that you can feed 1920 by 1080 10 bit, and that's a, some really high quality video. Let's change the file size all the way up to the four gigabyte mark. And let's just see what happens. Let me zoom in here too so that you guys can see what happens if I turn on uh, my zoom. So I can make this a little bit bigger and let you guys see the test as well. So we've got our volume. This is the Lassie fast drive. So inside of this drive right here, there's two drives. Now, normally you would partition this however you'd like, but what we've done is we've partitioned it in this zero plus one mode. So we're able to get both a backup and a fast uh, partition at the same time. What does this mean to you? Let's say for instance that you're a photographer and as you're scrolling through your aperture library, you want to be able to cruise through a ton of pictures very quickly and find just the one that you're going after. Now if you have a, a drive that is mirrored, it's going to be very slow. So the benefit of this drive is that included in the box and included with a Mac, if you're on a PC, there's software inside the box that's included that will allow you to back up the volume. So you take your fast volume and you're able to back it up automatically uh, with Apple's uh, the new operating system you're able to use time machine and just automatically back it up in the middle of the night. So speed and redundancy is what we've all been wanting but in an affordable package. I happen to use another drive from another manufacturer that's very very fast but it costs about four, five, six times as much for around the same capacity. So you're talking about a RAID that is uh, a RAID 6 and that it's an 8 drive system it's sitting down here and it's it's very cool and it can push up to 600 megabytes per second but most people don't need that kind of speed they don't need 600 they need about a, about 200 megabytes and we're gonna see how this thing pushes that 200 megabytes so let's go ahead and start the test here and take a look at that we're hitting 200 megabytes a second with our writes with our reads it's coming up here this is our fast drive so man, I mean, this is amazing to get this kind of performance out of an inexpensive two drive system that's got some redundancy to it as well. So that's our write speed hitting 200 and 17. Let's see what our reads are getting. Man, that is just cooking along. So if you were to get a drive like this from another manufacturer and, and just put it in RAID zero mode, you're gonna get faster speeds than this. I think we were able to get up to 300 megabytes per second. And we are using a a controller card. We're using a four port card and getting this kind of speed. So I'll show you a picture of that card real quick. That card, let's zoom out, looks like looks like this one right here. So this is the four port card and if you look at the back of the drive, let me cut over so you guys can see the back of the drive really quick. And let's kind of hand down here, or tilt down, excuse me. So if we tilt down, you'll be able to see that you have a USB 2.0, you have two FireWire 800 ports, a Fire, FireWire 400, and this is the SATA cable that is currently plugged in. And you can hear something, if I get really close to this, hey, what do you know, Mr. Bob Zellin, there's a fan right inside of that little tiny hole right there. So you ask for it, you got it. There's a fan inside of there that kicks on, not to mention you get these grills that dissipate heat as well very efficiently. So let's jump back over to the computer side really quick and let's do another test on the system side. Uh, let's say we want to go from the, from the, let's see, fast drive to the safe drive. Let's see what that looks like when we hit start. Let me zoom in so you guys can get a, an idea. So this one here is still pushing a good 100 megabytes a second, which is pretty darn fast again. Your internal drive, your SATA drive that comes inside of your computer is going to be hitting about 100 megs. So when you get two drives together, it makes them faster. In this case, we're not only using the two drives to make it fast, but we're also using the two drives to make it redundant. So if a drive fails, 
you're going to have everything that's on that safe drive still on that safe drive. This is awesome. If you're shooting with P2, shooting with Sony SBIS, shooting stills with your Canon 5D or Nikon, you want that stuff backed up. You don't want your data in just one place. You want it in two places always. And I would suggest even making another copy of this drive and taking it off site if, the value, if that data is very valuable. So just having this drive though is great peace of mind. Having your data in two places, uh, it'll help you sleep better at night. So let's take a look at what's going on here. We're hitting write speeds of about 100, reads of 100. Now why is this speed important when we get into an application like Aperture? For those of you that are photographers out there, let's let this, it's just about finished. Actually, while we're waiting for that to finish, I wanted to show you a quick PDF here. Let's jump back over to preview mode. And let's take a look at this here. So you can see what happens in the different RAID configurations. RAID zero, let's get me back up on the screen. RAID zero, you're going to have all your capacity, but you're going to have uh, no protection. In fact, there shouldn't even be a star there. I wish I could just take that out and it's going to be a heck, it's going to be really fast, but you have no protection. And uh, the next one, this is basically your, your big where you, you're able to write uh, when one drive fills up, it goes to the next one. So that's your big. And then this is the one that is safe where it's a total mirror. So you got lots of protection, but not a, you take the speed hit. And then here, it's kind of, you know, a mixed bag. You're, you're getting 75% of the capacity, but you're getting uh, protection and you're getting speed. So is that speed fast enough? I think it's fast enough. Let's take a look at what it looks like when we jump over to Aperture. So if you're a photographer, this is gonna look familiar. Here's my Aperture library. Now let's just see what it looks like as we scroll through. Look at that. As we scroll through our photos and we even double click on a photo, look at how fast it loads and look at how fast, oh, that was kind of cool, look at it, turn the light on, turn the light off. <laughs> look at how fast we're able to cruise through all these photos and I can even go faster. So I'm just scrolling fast, fast, fast. So th that's the kind of speed that you want. 200 megabytes per second, you want to be able to cruise through your photos really quick. You're doing a, a, a photo shoot and you want to find just that right picture. You've got the client over your shoulder. You don't want to be waiting for the on-screen preview to redraw. So once again, this is the Lacie 2 Big Quadra. You might want to take a look at getting one.